All right, welcome back. This is Sean Thomas, official PvP Hardcore Server 385, and we are putting a foundation on a Quetzal. So I was having trouble getting it evened out on here, and we decided that uh, we're going to try a few things out. We actually took air, took flight, and it helped with the swaying that was occurring. But uh, you know, this looks good enough for good enough for military, good enough for government, and I think we're going to be happy with this. It was not exactly as even when I performed it, so we're going to happily take this foundation as a starting point. We might do metal later on. We can always replace it. Uh, we could have built with thatch to start and then replaced with the stone. That's always a good idea if you're low on resources, you want to make sure you get it right. So this actually looks pretty good. And now we're going to go ahead and put down the walls. So the reason we're doing this is because we wanted to make this our meat wagon. And uh, with that, dinosaurs that attack, we wanted to make sure it didn't go through the walls. So right now we're going to put up some walls. If the dinosaurs attack and it was on just the standard platform, it would de destroy our refrigerators and generators. So we want to put them inside a foundation and walled structure to prevent that from happening. So we aren't going to be able to see. I might have to lose one of these walls. So with that, we can also build off some roof tiles off to the side to make it wider, but I think that this should be wide enough to do what we're looking to do, and that's to put up a generator and some refrigerators. So with that, let's give it a, a look. We should have the generator and refrigerators somewhere near here, and I'm going to get stuck between the wings. All right, I believe this is where I stuck all the goodies. We have a generator, we have a refrigerator, an outlet box, a couple cables, and I think that ought to do us. Got some gas to get her going once we have what we need. We, were, we are going to make another refrigerator. We're going to do two refrigerators on here. So let's go ahead and pick that up now because that's going to help us decide how we want to lay that out. We have some metal going. Let's grab, can I, can I carry uh, all this? Let's go ahead and make some more. Let's do uh, walls, I think. Let's craft two walls. That ought to get us moving again. Not quite. Right, I'll put the remaining wood back. And now we are able to move. Let's get over to the fabricator. And we're going to be making a refrigerator here, so we need the metal. I'm pretty sure we had all the other. We've got to turn it on, it requires gas to run, structures. I'm going to go to electric. Here's the refrigerator. We got what we need, so let's go ahead and craft that. There's our second refrigerator. And what we're doing is putting a generator and two refrigerators and all the electrical requirements in order to run it so that we can fly around and as we collect prime we just throw it into the refrigerator. The foundations and walls will prevent, protect the generator and refrigerators from taking damage. I think uh, we could stick the generator in the back. Let's uh, replace this for now generator just to get an idea we don't want it sticking out so we want to make sure the generator looks nice we want the wall on the other side to protect so let's go ahead and put that one up generator is going to go down and then we'll move the rest of the stuff around as necessary alright so we won't take any damage there 
Let's go ahead and put the refrigerator down. I'm going to have to put another wall on this side. Alright, we want to be able to walk back and forth in here, so let's put the refrigerator. Looks like we can do that. And we can also put here. We're only going to get one refrigerator in that corner. Let's have it so we can walk in between. Okay, so we got a refrigerator there, put another wall up here. Let's load another refrigerator off to the side. Alright, we've got our refrigerators in place now. This should be a safe haven for our prime meat now. Put another wall up to keep this safe. I really do not know if I screwed myself here with the cabling. I probably should have stuck that down before sticking down our... I think we're okay though. I was worried the cabling wouldn't have enough space to be in there with the refrigerators. Looks like the Outlook box could go right here or right here. Let's go here so that the cables are not showing. Let's try it out. Put two gas in. Each gas is going to last us an hour. Refrigerators are powered. Very nice. How does it look? So we're going to be flying around eating things. I think this is sufficient. Alright, so we've got refrigerators running. <laughs> Better go catch them. Alright, so that ought to get us going for our prime collection. We can get a third refrigerator. Let's go ahead and do that for some crazy primage. Three refrigerators? Is that too many? Let's see. I do want to grab a little more metal since I've got the weight availability. Go ahead and grab that. Grab that. Running 330 weight now does make a huge difference. All right, let's look at our structures. Electrical, do we have what we need? We need polymer. We can make polymer. Let's go ahead and do that. We need some more cementing paste. It's back on the mammoth. All right, not that mammoth, but the other one. Okay, Lana's mammoth. I do have cementing paste on here somewhere. Let's grab some fiber, might need that. Where did I stick that cementing paste? Okay, if not there, I did make some and I stuck it over here on our mortar and pestles. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Go in between the legs. I think, I think this is the one. We got some spinning paste there. Some right here. And we're going to need the spark powder to keep the fires burning. Alright, so let's drop the spinning paste on. And we're going to go back to the electrical structures, electric, polymer, and cementing paste is what we needed for the polymer. So let's go ahead and go to composite polymer. Let's make the 18. Structures electrical, do they require any? Nope, just the polymer. So we've got that crafting. While that's crafting, let's go ahead and put some of the spark powder. that be for now. We're using the, the wood to make charcoal so we're going to go ahead and leave that going but I will stick it inside our spark powder box so that when somebody needs it it'll be available for them. Here we are spark powder. 
Okay, by now we should have our polymer. Gonna grab a little food while I'm here. A little water and buy some time. Structures, electrical, electric, that's the one we want. Craft that last refrigerator. And while we're in here, can we do some lights? Let's see if we can get some lights going. I might have to learn that. So let's go ahead and learn light or lamp. Alright, so we don't want the omnidirectional ones. The lamp posts seem to just focus one direction. The omnidirectional is going to give us a spread of light. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. It should be under electric or electrical. Here we go. Go ahead and craft one of these. Grab both of these. We're going to get a whole mess of gas. Steal it from the generator here. might want to put up some doorways. We'll, we'll want to be able to cross in, but we don't want any damage happening to this thing, so I might put some walls on the side. I really don't want to block visibility while we're flying, so it's kind of a toss-up between visibility and protection. I think we'll be okay putting this lamp post in the back. That will use existing power. I always want to set the pin code so that people can't mess with it. We'll go ahead and turn on that lamp so this will give us a little light while we're dealing in the dark. One more refrigerator, what do you say? Sound good? That ought to be plenty for meat collection. And I'm going to go ahead and put the doorways up now. I've got one doorway, and I can craft a little bit more if I had some more wood. We know where that is. How do we look when we're flying around on this thing? guess that's good enough. I want to try out the uh, next set of walls here if I want to protect the, the flanks of the bird when we're flying around. Maybe this won't disrupt visibility too much. Let's just have a little look before we use the other two. So when we're flying around and we're attacking stuff we can see it's just if I put up that back section that might cause some problems so I think we're okay as long as I leave that alone inside outside you can see the the wood it, it's not quite matching up perfectly but I think it'll do We've got some inside walls with some outside walls. Just need that one more doorway and then the two doors. I think I've got those on the mammoth and we will be ready to roll. Alright, where do we put that mammoth? All the way over there. Okay, where are you doorways? Let's take our scuba gear back so we don't forget that. Keep that C4 charge in our water. Don't want to leave these here either. Yeah, I have the doors somewhere. I apologize for not knowing exactly where they are. We were putting them together and they must have gotten moved off somewhere. Lola. 
not on Firestorm. So I think we're good enough as stands. Um, I think we have a little more stone over here. Can't see at the moment. I gotta get that those resources back. So I do need some flint. I have a little bit of wood and I have some stone, so that should be what I need to go ahead and craft this torch so I can see over here. I always try to hold at least five of each of the resources to make the torch. You never know when you might need that light source. So I'm grabbing the stone. And I do not want you following me. Alright. So looking to craft a, a door, I'm going to need some more wood. 14 wood, I can get that off of the smithies. I've got the stone, I've got that. Just need to make a doorway too. Requires wood, so let's go get some wood off of either one of our mammoths. And I think he moved all of that over to the smithies already. Yep, they're gone. Just about finished here with our structure. Can make two of these. We need one more doorway. Doorway, we need just a tad more stone, it looks like. I think that was stone. I took uh, quite a bit of wood off the other one, so I'm going to balance that out. Keep five for myself. We got some stone. I think we had a little bit more stone. And all we need is a tad more. That's not enough. That'll be plenty. Alright, so let's scroll down to the stone doorway, and I just need the wood. Okay. There we go. Wood is gathered. So if you hold down E, or tap E rather, it'll swap between the two. And I did it the right way, thankfully. So you can go inside versus outside, transferring back and forth. So we've got our two doors there now. Whoop. So that'll get us in to do the refrigerator. And did we put all that we need on the generator? Let's see. Yes, we did. Well, there you have it. I could put some ceilings, and I might do that eventually if we decide that the, the walls in the back aren't going to block vision. When I put these on, I try to leave a little bit of a gap. This way we can throw down walls without it being too much problem. And you know, if you don't want to get damaged through the wall, you don't want to be sticking out through the wall yourself. Uh, so with the latest uh, patches, these foundations and walls will prevent damage to the refrigerators and generators. This will allow us to fly around collecting prime meat on our Quetzal. And when I get a significant amount, I can just push E, hop in there, and throw the, uh, the meat that's collected off of the bird. Thank you all for watching. This is Sean Thomas, official hardcore PvP server 385. If you enjoyed the content, found it helpful, please uh, hit like, and if you'd like to see additional content, subscribe. It's free to do so, and you'll get additional content uh, notifications when it comes out. If you'd like to see something specific, please leave a comment. I'll respond and try to put out a video for you. Thanks for watching.